Hi everyone, welcome to Prefusion. So this video is mainly for those guys who are getting into PSU this year or it might happen that you are getting into industry this year by doing your masters or by doing your bachelors. So basically if you are going to get into a job then this video is for you guys. So this session I am taking only for those guys like uh, just, to uh, just to let them know that what they should be doing if they are going into industry or they are going into PSU. Basically if you are going to earn now, if you are going to earn decent enough then this video is for you. Right. So what all things you should be learning? So first thing should be you should learn how to invest your money. So whatever the money that you are earning, you should know where to invest it and how to invest it. Because let's just say uh, today you are earning 100 rupees and in 100 rupees you can certain you can buy a certain product that is X. So in 100 rupees today you can buy a product X. But inflation would, would be there no. Next year that product X will cost you 108 rupees. This year it was costing you 100 rupees. Now whatever the money that you earn, 100 rupees you earned and you did not invest it. So now next year that particular product X is costing you 108 rupees but, but you are having 100 rupees only. So 8 rupees extra you need here. So if you are not investing your money that means you are losing your purchasing power there. That means you are losing some money there. So whatever that you have earned, at least that much you should return. Like if I, if I am earning 100 rupees today then at least after one year I should be having 108 rupees. Right? So it is very very important to invest your money. Here I am not giving you investment tips. I am just telling you that it is important to invest your money. So I am not telling that go into stock market invest that thing uh, that will go rise up that will go down. Nah, nothing like that. That those kind of tips I am not giving. I am just telling you that it is important to invest money. You can invest in the safest option as well that at least whatever the inflation is there at least that much I should be earning. And this is what I do. I will also invest safely. Like whatever the money that I am having, at least I should be earning according to the inflation. Okay. And uh, what I feel is that my personal opinion is that uh, like uh, FD is the safest option. Okay. According to me. Okay. Here I am not give, giving any uh, investment tips here. FD is one of the safest option for me. Okay. So if you like, I'm not saying that whole amount should go to FD, but a certain amount of your income should go to FD because that is one of the safest option. So this was about investment, which was very, very important. Now I will be breaking this video into two parts. First part was like uh, investing, uh, investing the money that was important for both PSU as well and uh, industry guys as well. Now I will be breaking it into, into two parts. One part will be for PSU and uh, another part will be for the industry guys. Okay. So let's just say you are getting into a PSU. Now in PSU what may happen is that like there are 50% chances that uh, you will be doing something which is not inclined towards electrical engineering or which is not in inclined towards EC engineering at all. It might happen. 50% chances are there that you are doing something very monotonous or you are doing something very easy or your work life balance is too much good. Like work life balance should be good but it should not be too much good. Like there is one hour of work only in, in whole day and uh, you feel like that you are not doing anything productive. This it might happen in the PSUs. It will not always happen. Okay. This is a notion in, in, a, in a lot of people that uh, in PSU there is very good work life balance and there is no work pressure at all. But I have seen some people saying that yeah, there is very high work pressure in their PSU. So it depends on individual to indi individual. It depends on PSU to PSU. It depends on team to team as well. Okay. So some people may have some work pressure, but mostly what I have heard is that in PSU, there are very less work pressure. So if you are having good enough time or even if you are not having good enough time, even if there is a pressure, always take your gate notes with you. In whatever the PSU that you are going in, always you should have your gate notes with you. Now it might happen that sir, I don't want to prepare for gate again. I don't want to prepare for any engineering examination. I want to go for UPSC CSE. Then go for it. And a lot of people does it. This year, I guess AIR 8, he was in IOCL only. Okay. And he wrote GATA as well. He got a very good rank in GATA as well. And uh, for past uh, four to five years, he was preparing for UPSC CSE examination and he got AIR 8. So I guess he will be becoming IS officer only. So that also you can do. If you want to prepare for UPSC CSE examination, you can prepare that. And he did not drop the job. He was doing it with the job only. And he was not an IITN. He was from NIT Allahabad. Now you would say, sir, NIT Allahabad, like, likes of me are also from this same kind of college. Like, uh, I used to put like a bit lower than NIT Allahabad, like an average guy would be from these kind of college. Like he was not IIT and I having uh, 
सी एस सी डिग्री फ्रॉम आई आई टी बॉम्बे दोज गाइज आर एक्सेप्शनल राइट सो ही वॉज अ डिसेंट गाय गेव फाइव फाइव अटैम्प्ट गेव गेट एज वेल देन ही गोट इन टू आई ओ सी एल एंड ही सो ही वॉज समथिंग लाइक यू ओनली ही वॉज समन लाइक यू ओनली एंड ही डिड दैट दिस ईयर ओनली ही गोट द रैंक सो आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस ईयर सी रिजल्ट ओनली सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर यू पी एस सी सी एस सी इट इज अ वेरी गुड ऑप्शन गो फॉर इट नाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर यू पी एस सी ई एस सी देन गो फॉर इट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर गेट अगेन देन गो फॉर इट सिंपली आई विल टेल यू वन थिंग दैट इफ यू आर इन पी एस यू डोंट स्टॉप लर्निंग नो मैटर हाउ ईजी योर जॉब इज नो मैटर वॉट एवर दैट इज हैपनिंग इन योर पी एस यू डोंट स्टॉप लर्निंग ऑलवेज कीप ऑन स्टडिंग योर गेट नोट्स एटलीस्ट योर गेट नोट्स लाइक इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लाइक यू आर हैविंग योर बी टेक डिग्री इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग नो और इन ई सी इंजीनियरिंग और इन इंस्ट्रोमेंटेशन इंजीनियरिंग और इन एनी अदर इंजीनियरिंग ब्रांच है यू आर हैविंग योर बी टेक डिग्री इन दैट पर्टिकुलर ब्रांच है राइट सो यू शुड बी एटलीस्ट कॉन्फिडेंट इनफ विद दोज कॉन्सेप्ट इट माइट हैपन दैट आफ्टर टू ईयर्स यू फील लाइक दैट सर आई वॉन्ट टू गो इन टू मास्टर्स एंड आई वॉन्ट टू गेट इन टू बी एल एस आई इंडस्ट्री इट माइट हैपन और आई वॉन्ट टू गेट इन टू इलेक्ट्रिकल कोर इंडस्ट्री सो योर थोर्स मे चेंज एनी डे राइट जस्ट बाई लुकिंग एट योर फ्रेंड और एनी डे इट मे चेंज एंड इफ यू ड्रॉप स्टडिंग फॉर वन ईयर और टू ईयर आफ्टर दैट इट विल बी वेरी टफ टू पिकअप द नोट्स वेरी वेरी टफ इट वुड बी सो हैव दैट हैबिट ऑफ स्टडिंग रेगुलरली आई एम नॉट सिंग दैट यू शुड बी लाइक going all out into studying now it's not that you are preparing for gate again nothing like that but you should be habitual of solving the problems like any day you open some youtube session some teacher is teaching something i am teaching something just open the session and just see what whatever he is teaching it might happen that you learn something new or it might happen that you have devised your concepts right so just keep on learning this is the only thing that i wanted to tell just a second yeah so what i was saying i was saying that if, even if you are in psu just keep on learning because it might happen that uh, any day you want to switch or any day you want to write your examination again you want to go go into masters and then you got want to get into industry so any day you again need to pick your notes that's why you should be habitual of studying the notes again and again so this is uh, this is something that i wanted to tell so this was for psu guys one more thing i would i would like to add that is like uh, what i have seen is that people are not uh, that much dedicated enough for their psu job look people in psus are dedicated enough but uh, it might happen that you are not uh, dedicated enough for your job whatever the job that you are doing you might not be that dedicated for that particular job because in psus mostly the job jobs are monotonous mostly not uh, not for everyone but mostly jobs are monotonous but if you feel like that i am dedicated enough for this job i am made for this job and i like doing this particular work then you can get in touch with your seniors and uh, you can uh, like ask them that what all things i should be doing to do better in this job okay like uh, if you like the job there if you like the work there and you want to proceed in this domain only for the rest of your life you have decided that i will be doing this work only for the rest of my life then get into touch with your seniors and ask them what i can do to do better in my job because you need to work there you like the work there but mostly what i have seen is that people don't like the work that much in psus okay like their life is stable they would be working there for whole life but uh, still it happens that they don't like the work that much but if life is stable then human works <laughs> this is the bottom line right yeah so next uh, i would be talking about the industry guys so you might be getting into industry after btech or you might be getting into the industry after mtech so again the first thing was investment you need to know how to invest your money so that thing i have already talked about now what you can do so once you get into the industry there will be training there will be training of uh, one month or it might happen that it will be training of 15 days as well 10 days as well it depends on the company it depends on the team so that training you will be attending after that you will be working in a particular team i am taking an example that i am working in a data converser team i am working in dac edc team so now like there is there is there would be some course there would be some very good course on npital from for that particular domain like uh, there is a course on data converser by shanti pawan sir so that course you can do you don't need to ask anyone that sir should i do this course you are working in that team no you are working in that team so whatever the work that you are doing that you are doing after that if you are having some good enough time and you would be having some good enough time so in that particular time you can study that course okay are you able to understand this point so this is just an example whatever the team you are working in or you can simply get into touch with good, good seniors that sir if i want to proceed in this particular domain if i want to proceed in this team then what all things i should be improving on myself what all things i i should be focusing on what what all things i should be focusing on so these things you can ask and secondly never ever ignore your basics these basics arts circuit these basic mos circuit these basic opam circuit uh, finding gain finding pole zero finding frequency response finding stability all these things would be very important when you switch 
okay when you switch they would be certainly asking you what you have worked on in the previous company certainly they will be asking you on your projects but surely they will be asking you your basic fundamentals as well look i never switched my job because i worked there only for one year so i don't have the experience of switching the job but i have taken mock interviews of a lot of guys who are switching the jobs even after 10 year 15 years so they also say the same thing that no matter in whichever the job we switch the first thing they will ask from the basics like till this point even after 15 years of experience they are asking them basic rc rl circuit basic mosfet circuit basic oban circuit finding gain finding frequency response finding stability these basic things they ask certainly they focus on the projects as well but basics are also very very important so never ever drop your basics now i am not saying that rigorously you study basics only all day you watch my videos no some day time is there just open the youtube watch some videos okay some intuitive analysis is teaching and i can learn that so just be habitual with your basics don't drop your basics completely and along with that i told you you can do the courses you can do the courses on pll you can do the courses on on uh, broadband communication you can do the pro courses on uh, receivers uh, like n number of courses are there this these are just some examples that i am telling that whatever the team you are working on there some good guys will be there some good seniors would be there whom you can uh, whom you can get in touch with and you can ask them what all things i should be doing and certainly all these things would come after your work first you should be focusing on your work and uh, one more thing i would like to tell until you are married until you are married don't think of work life balance look i know work life balance is important i am not a uh, narayana murthy sir here that you should be working this much hour that much hour but you should be dedicated enough it's not that you are ignoring your work okay whatever that work that they are giving you you should be doing that work if they are pushing you um, like if they are pushing you more than your capacity then it's between you and your manager but uh, in vlsi if there is a decent team like most of the teams are decent only most of the teams are good good only in all the companies i am talking about so they wouldn't push you much okay so whatever that is necessary that much work they will give you and it is necessary to give the output so don't think so much about work life balance okay i will work uh, from 9 to 5 only then i will leave the office i have to leave the office anyway until you are married you are one guy or you are one girl i don't think you should be focusing much about work life balance okay just upon just one second guys yeah so what i was saying yeah so you should be not uh, thinking much about your work life balance so here please don't uh, be misguided that i am not saying that you should be working all day i am not talking about narayana murthy sir i am just saying that whatever that is whatever the work that is required you should not be thinking that i have that work life balance i need to have this i need to have that break this break you go on trips you go wherever you want to go but uh, don't ignore your work just for the sake of work life balance until you are married i don't think you have much responsibilities you don't uh, need to spend time with your family or anything like that you need to time spend uh, you need to spend time with your friends for that you will be having enough time but to give your full effort at least in 3 to 4 years of your, of your job after that you will be habitual of doing the job and uh, after that your life will become stable very stable it will become but in the initial year of job the job may seem tough the work may seem tough but for that phase you need to clear okay i did not clear that phase i myself admit i just dropped the job and i came to teaching because teaching was something that i, I like the most so here i am advising something that i myself did not do okay but i see anish sir he puts uh, he put his all effort uh, in his job so yeah this is something that i wanted to tell that uh, if you want to work in that domain only sir, then give your everything for first 3 to 4 years at least and after that you will be habitual of that and uh, uh, your life will become stable your work will also become stable this is what i feel right yeah so that was the thing that i wanted to tell that you can keep on doing the courses along with that you can, you can be you you should be focusing on your work as well and along with that you should be uh, clearing your fundamentals as well right so this was the thing now last thing which is common to everyone that uh, uh, keep your fitness right think about your fitness as well it's not that all day you are doing work uh, this thing that thing going out with the friends uh, like most of the guys in corporate i have seen that they go to gym i never went to gym i went to gym but only for 2 to 3 months okay so i am not the best guy to advise you on the fitness because i would be one of the guys who is always sick who is always not with his 100% health okay so it's been roughly around uh, 20 hours since i did not sleep and i did not sleep la- last whole night so this kind of schedule i am having this kind of schedule you should not be having this is what i wanted to tell you should not be having this kind of schedule you should be having a regular sleep cycle you can go to gym as well you should have good food habits as well because 
health is the priority if you are having a good health then you will be doing well in your life that's for sure so please take care of uh, take care of your health and please advise me as well that i also start taking care of my health okay yeah so that's it that that's what uh, sorry so that was the motive of this video yeah i hope uh, you would work on all these things so just wanted to share something and that i did yeah thank you very much